thank you Spigen for sponsoring this video so I can showcase your amazing products to my viewers. Hey, it's Joseph here. Today we've got quite a few boxes. I hope this doesn't fall down. But here are products that are sent from Spigen for me to do a unboxing as well as a showcase feature type of video to you guys. So let's go ahead and do that. In fact, in my previous video, I have showcased these two products, both the charging brick and the wireless charger from Speedgen. So please do check that video out. I'll leave the link in the description. However, we have so many other ones to go through today. I don't know which one to start. Why don't we just kind of organize this so that I can get all of them in the frame. I'm also going to open the product sheet so I can talk about some of the features that they offer in their products. The first one that I want to mention is the gallium nitride technology, which is a new quality material starting to be used in the semiconductors in chargers. And when it comes to chargers, it dissipates less heat and allows smaller size and faster charging speed with higher efficiency. Therefore, gallium nitride charger keeps working for a lot longer and reduces possible damage to your devices than non-gallium nitride chargers. Gallium nitride chip is a crystal-like material that's capable of conducting far higher voltages. Electrical current can pass through components made from gallium nitride faster than silicon. By replacing silicon semiconductor, every component in charger could be closer together. Therefore, more power can be packaged into smaller spaces like this one so many of the products that I have over here like this one here that says gallium nitride and basically saying that that technology has been implemented all of these charging brakes have that technology which is kind of amazing and that's why you can have such a high power output out of the tiny thing like this and then next one listed here is 3d PCB technology. It dramatically reduces the size of the transformer by using a high frequency controller and increases the energy density and consequently reduces the volume. So it is all fancy way of saying it is coming in a smaller package. And next technology is the power quality technology. Power quality technology is Spigen exclusive charging technology that provides power with quality, stability, and safety. By minimizing ripple noise, it charges your device with higher efficiency and reduces damage to your devices. The ripple noise is a residual periodic variation of the DC, the direct current voltage, which has been derived from the AC altering current. And some of the words here are not something that is easy to understand, but basically you've got noises in your current whenever it comes through your wall into your devices and this type of charger allows it to be more stable so that it is not a lot of noises the ups and downs in the current therefore your devices will be able to charge quicker and safer and longer lasting battery and here is a list of those technologies and the description for each and on the right column it has a list of applied products so you'll be able to reference to some of the products or many of the products that I'm about to show you today. Okay, enough of talking. Let's get through unboxing of these devices so I can actually show you the devices. Well, why don't we start with the easy ones, the cables. This one is Pigeon Power Arc Arc Wire, USB-C to USB-C cable. PB2000 and it is certified for 40 gigabit per second. USB 4 Gen 3 and the overall length is 2.6 feet so it is not necessarily the longest length but it is made with quality there's nice sleeving around the ends as well as a cable tie for you to manage it quite neatly very nice and here is another type of cable is 1 meter or 3.3 feet and it is supporting power delivery for iPhones and iPads and iPods. The model name is C10CL. And yes, another nice cable tie. It is a white one and it's got lightning cable on one side and then USB-C on the other. So you can synchronize your device as well as charging your devices. And this one supports up to 87 watt. Very nice. 
And by the way, this one supports 100 watt, so it's a lot more. And here is USB-C to USB-C 2.0 cable, and the model name is C11C1. And this one is 1.5 meter or 4.9 feet long, so it is a quite longer cable. And it supports up to 60 watts, and it is a braided cable. I really like the braided cables because they don't tangle as easily and most of my charging cables tend to be braided cables. This one is quite long as well and sleeved quite nice. Okay, all the cables done. Let's get to some of these boxes. This specific one says Spigen Power Arc Arc Station Pro. It is meant for USB-C and it has a foldable plug just like the other one. And this one's name is PE2009UJ and it sports up to 20 watt. Let's see how big it is or how small it is. So it is amazing how tiny little thing like this one here, like this one could support up to 20 watt. It is virtually like the same size as the original iPhone charger and it supports up to 20 watt. Incredible. And next size is this one is PE2013UJ and it does have a foldable plug as well. And this one appears to have two different USB-C ports, so you can charge two different devices at the same time, as well as the foldable prong, just like the other one. In terms of the size, it is very comparable to this 45 watt charger, but the overall output is slightly different. It's got two different ports to charge your devices. Let's go ahead and open this one here, which is PE2008UJ. And overall power output is 30 watts as well. And here, this one looks slightly different. It's got foldable prong as well, and it's more squarey shape. Yeah, I kind of like the shape of this one. It's very light as well. And this one over here is PE2007UJ. And this one again has gallium nitride technology foldable plug and it supports up to 60 watt. And actually it is a dual port use. Total output is 70 watt. That's quite a lot. Okay, so this is bigger than the others, but yet still very small. I mean, if you compare to my palm here, or maybe compare to my phone, Spigen case, by the way. This is Samsung S10e, and this is how big it is. Quite small and light as well. And it's got two USB-C ports on it and foldable prong. Quite nicely finished. All right, so here is the biggest one. Spigen Power Arc, Arc Station Pro, Gallium Nitride Technology, and Max 100 watt charging, and it's got two ports available. PE2006UJ with the foldable plug. And on the back, it states different wattage that is available, but the total output is 100 watt. Oh, on the side it states different technology as well. Quantum boost technology, intelligent power diffusion technology, power quality technology, intelligent safety technology, and also this is not really a technology, but 24 month hassle-free warranty. So with all of these chargers available to me, I should not really run out of any power. Yep, this is the biggest. So I guess the rightful question to ask is why isn't there something that's more powerful than 100 watt? Well, actually USB-C only supports up to 100 watt of power delivery and laptops only allow 100 watt to be received on their charging end. If you can support up to 100 watt, then you can charge up your laptops fastest. And I have a bunch of different laptops that I can charge with, even with something Thing as little as 45 watt so I can either charge my laptop a bit slow but with very tiny package or faster with 100 watt package I mean this is still very small compared to some of the laptop chargers that you have seen before I mean a lot of 100 watt chargers for laptop used to be as big as this so yeah these are the chargers thank you Spigen for sponsoring this video for me to showcase your amazing products. They've got quite a lot of variety, big 
and small in different type of charging technologies. So you should be able to find the right charging accessory from them. Do check out the links in the description for you guys to go ahead and purchase any of these items as well as some of the things that are not mentioned in this video. So if you have liked this content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.